Black Artists and Art is a book that actually originated in 1969. It's created by Dr. Samela Lewis along with Ruth G. Wadi, who were two female black artists at the time that were working with several other artists, whether they were collecting the work, exhibiting the work, or collaborating with them. And they realized that there weren't any other publications that brought together black artists in a movement-driven context to demonstrate that black art actually had a role within a social context. And so that book at the time was revolutionary in that it basically created a whole new paradigm for the world of fine art. And they did two volumes. They did volume one in 1969 and volume two in 1971. And it really sort of added to the, the, the peak and the crescendo of the black arts movement at that time. And after those two volumes, the spirit and the notion of black artists and art trans, transformed to other publications that Hampton University put out, the International Review of African American Art, but the book series itself never had any other volumes. And so that was almost 45 years ago. And now I'm fortunate enough to be able to work with Samela Lewis's grandson, Unity Lewis. And he felt very strongly, not only about preserving the legacy that his grandmother had started, but also he felt very strongly about the tools and the sort of resources that that book brings to our community. And he said, this is something that I think we can bring back into the present day context because there's actually a lot of room now for us to have something like this here with all the different sort of and varied forms of art that our people engage in that have definitely evolved since the 70s. When I presented this book to Trevor, we looked over it and we became inspired by it. And it was a book that I'd always had around because we would sell them at book festivals growing up when I was a kid and I was always thumbing through it and getting inspiration from it. But in taking this book to Trevor and in taking this book to several other people in my community, artists in my community, I realized that the, imp the impact that this book has on people, has on people who've never seen the book and has had on the community overall. My grandmother started this project in the, in the late 60s and basically what it is is an extension of the movement. The art was just one aspect of the black power movement that was happening in those times where we were becoming liberated in a sense, liberated not only as far as standing up for our equal rights, but as far as being recognized as humans, period. Just sharing it with different people over time, I started to realize the cultural significance and relevance behind this book in a certain way that I wasn't really um, aware of growing up. It was just like, it was a book that I found important, but I didn't realize what an impact it had on the rest of society. There's a need for, for us to unite as a community, for us to fight against oppression. Um, none of this stuff has changed, so it's still relevant. And there are still artists who are continuing the black arts movement today that can address these topics. And so this was maybe two years ago or so that we talked about bringing this project back. And since then we figured, well, let's go and reach out to all the contemporary black artists that we can find and start to get them aware of this book and also get their work into the book. And as we started to collect more work from people that we knew locally and within our network, we realized that you know, we can really take this nationwide and this is something that the entire world should be participating in. And so now we're dedicated to a nationwide and even global campaign to engage as many artists as we possibly can in Black Artists on Art. The, the response has been that people are proud of us and people are excited to be part of this project. The artists have all come to us and said, let us know what else you need from us. We're so happy to be able to invest in this project. We want to see this go somewhere. We know that we're making history. The response is one that has informed us and reassured us that we're doing something that hasn't necessarily been done before and something that has been needed and something that people have been looking for and something people have been wanting to happen for a long time now.